Well, Marosa is an interesting company because it's it's between sort of craft and industry. So the majority of work that they do is what I call craft tech. So it's using pretty good craft, uh, modern, extended technologies, whether that's embroidery on a, a digital embroidery on a sofa, the way they might construct something, where they can make one, or they can make a thousand or a million. Or but when you shift into the technological realm, that, that's the dialogue that I've had uh, with Patrizia because when you're a small company of around 35, maybe 40 million euros, spend a million euros on a, on a mistake is, is, could be a very big mistake. So I'm mindful of that and so when I design, I'm designing not selfishly, I'm designing trying to embrace all, all aspects of this. So from a manufacturing standpoint, you know, we went to we went to visit a, a stamping company, a metal stamping company that makes all the body parts for Ferrari. Incredible, incredible. Uh, but they were too expensive. Um, the chair died, died overnight because the cost was too much for the for the mold, for the stamping, uh, and the pressing. And it was Moroso that found another company. But uh, you know, we never give up in my studio, especially with an object like this, which I do it. I do it for a lot of reasons, but I also do it because my people love it. The people who work for me want that chair to exist. And they'll work midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock, to remake the data because they want it made. Well, I, I, I mean, what a privilege. So, we practice parametric design in my studio, which means that you can actually give such an authority to the data that you create that we can see everything that, we, that is going to happen. So, when you create an object, uh, I'm only looking for mistakes, and uh, it's what I know, I already know it, so I took my time to get here today, because I, I knew, I've had feedback from very interesting people on my phone that said, wow, so I knew it was going to be okay, I mean it's a prototype, but the thing is, it's pressed, and it's pressed in three stages, one is you, you press the shape, which is a very sophisticated shape, if you see it, I can send you some images maybe, or we can get them from the data. But the first press shape looks like, actually looks like a Russian military helmet. It's got this very sophisticated, weird anatomical shape to it. So the first pressing is pure and very beautiful. And that, uh, how can I say, that anneals the material to a point where then when you do the secondary pressing, you get beautiful definition. And that's that dichroic, diatomic print that you get, which gives the material a life. It also lifts you a little bit away from the shell, which means if it's warm, you ventilate through that, that membrane. It's kind of interesting, as an outdoor chair, that you just you lift it a little way enough that it, you don't get cooled by it and you don't get hot. Um, so it's a three stage. The third stage is that then we press those, those little tabs that come, they're generated from the slots. And of course they can't be that long, because they just can't be, because you can't press down that deep. So we press them as long as we can, and in the pressing process we try to press them as far as we can. Uh, so that then the secondary operation on those elements is minimized. Then you have a hydroform leg, and then basically, at the moment, they're sort of riveted on, but they will be bonded on, like with aircraft bonding uh, 3M. So the thing is made like an airplane. And, you know, you might like the shape, but actually what I like is the lightness. You know, I can pick it up in one hand. And I'm not quite well enough, but I lost a lot of weight, so I lost a lot of my strength. But I, uh, I think that's important. I think it doesn't need to be too light. But, you know, if you picked up your iPhone and it weighed a kilo, you'd say it's lovely, but... Uh, and the same as cars. Cars are going to get lighter. Everything has to get lighter because light, lightness uh, is a virtue. Ways, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, so it retains a physicality that I love and a discipline of geometry, but it, it is a product of now. It's a product of 2014. And I, I really feel that from people. I really feel people say that. Uh, it's not a, 
archival project and it's not derivative. It doesn't look like anything.